Hi everybody, I'm Shane. Today we've been using our grapple rake. This is an 84 inch grapple. Uh, it's All the tines are made of T1 half inch steel. And what that's going to give you is extreme strength in terms of uh, digging ability and resistance to bending. Uh, the top grapple is specially designed so that you can use it for back dragging. That's important when you're cleaning up slash piles like this. This is a pile of brush that we uh, cut down with our tree shear a few days ago. And so I was in here cleaning it up, picked up a couple roots, and you can see that this grapple leaves a nice tight pile, and that's important uh, if you're going to want to move it or burn it later. A uh, nice tight pile with not much dirt in it, so that'll, that'll burn quickly and cleanly. The lower frame construction consists of a backbone made up of quarter inch wall, six by six tubing. That's an extremely strong backbone that acts as the framework that all of this is uh, built upon. So that's going to resist bending and twisting, which is important when you have really large cylinders on each end of it like we do. The cylinders that we use are three inch diameter with eight inch stroke. So it's going to give you extreme clamping force on your grapple. So I wanted to show you the, the shape of the bottom tines because this is important to how well it collects brush and slash and then collects it into a tight ball. So you'll see the tines have a length that fits nicely with the, the geometry of the lower frame and it has a nice curve here which allows the material to be scooped up and curled in and then rolled. And when you get that rolled into that ball like that and then clamp it with the top grapple, that's how what makes that really tight uh, brush pile. So the shape of this is important to make sure that you're you're uh, penetrating a little bit of the depth of, into the ground to pick up the brush, but not so deep that you're actually digging and collecting a lot of dirt. Okay, so we came out to this rock pile where we had a few boulders here. Uh, I just wanted to show you how you can pick up boulders even with a, a grapple rake. Um, we grabbed uh, three different big rocks here, maybe anywhere from 1,500 up to 3,000 pounds. I brought them out. We dropped them a few different orientations, picked them up from the sides, from the middle of the grapple, from the end of the grapple, uh, just to show you that you can pick up uh, big boulders and rocks of this type. Uh, we also did some raking through this rock pile here. This was a frozen rock pile uh, with smaller rocks, uh, softball size, maybe the volleyball size, some of the rocks. And uh, just to show how you can smooth out rock piles or dig up rocks, by either driving forwards or back dragging, just to give you a general idea of what you can do with rocks and how it relates to the grapple. Well, thanks for joining us as we did some testing with this grapple rake. Be sure to check back as we make more videos and be sure to give us a call or check out our website if you have any questions.